So healing is a journey that for me started, uh, I think I would say my dad was a great motivator in this and he's never let us uh, down by saying, nah, this is not for you, nah, don't do this. People won't understand about, you know, what is healing, how does it work, will it give you what you're looking at. But yeah, still we went ahead with it and uh, I think me, my sister, my brother, my mom, all of us started this journey together when we just started with the first phase of healing, which we, you know, which we all know as Reiki, which was healing ourselves through the universe. But before I even get to the journey where I'm starting, of course I have no pictures of myself to share, but yes, of course I'll be sharing why healing as a journey is important. For me, my dad was everything, even when he was there and even when he is not there. He's the one who's been guiding me through and through. And my faith in Sai is something that, you know, keeps me moving day in, day out, trying to make a difference in people's life, however small the difference might be, but yes, I would want to make a difference. We start by helping relationships. They can be your family, your friends, it can be in the form of art, it can be in the form of nature, your pets, anything are a form of, you know, healing your soul on the inside. It's not something that you, you know, you, uh, you acquire from someone. It's something that is inbuilt within yourselves. The stages of healing for me that this started were with the journey began with my dad and the recovery happened even through with my dad because he met with an accident that uh, broke his ankle in three places and me not believing in healing as much but still going ahead with the belief because I wanted to make a difference to my dad. I We started doing healing for him and trust me, in a matter of 12 hours, one of those cracks healed and even the doctors were amazed. I don't have uh, the x-ray to show you but I can tell you in a matter of 12 hours, one of those cracks healed. That was when one of the doors opened and I knew that this was something that I was going to get into to help make changes in the lives of some of the people who came in contact with me. Reiki was the origin for this and trust me, I was the first non-believer in this. I would have never believed what is this energy healing, I would never get into it. But after learning the first course and when we came and sat and something broke, inside my car you have those evil uh, eye things hanging in the car and once that thing broke i knew okay energy healing is something this was uh, the picture that went back was my first tarot deck which i started in school and then later on i moved ahead to this deck which my teacher taught me and something that i've been using to help and heal people that have been coming to me with problems that you know i mean it was something that called from the inside for me to help share and heal them on the same. I think there's a journey in a point wherein you have to stop convincing people of what the right thing is and you need to allow what is right for you to enter your life. You cannot let everything be a part of your life. That's wherein the crystal healing came in. After Reiki I went, I did my tarot card readings, I learned about it. Then I learned my crystal healings from my guru who's in Canada now. And post uh, the crystal healing came a lot of interesting things that I could do with the crystals. Uh, there was aura cleansing, there was cleansing the crystals and making sure that the energies don't harm you, that you receive from the universe. There are people around you that might wish the better for you, but then they really don't know how to get those energies back in your life. That's where the crystals play an important part by bringing the synergies together and actually giving something back to you in your life. This was one of the healings that I started. This was my very first healing that I had done. Of course, the picture is not the same. The picture I don't want to share because of the client confidentiality. But of course, this is how we did the first energy healing for one of my clients by placing the crystals around and cleansing of her aura. This is what I believe in, that some dreams are wiser than waking. Of course, you want to sleep through your entire life and if the dream is beautiful, you don't want to wake up. But trust me, life is that beautiful dream that you want to wake up to. And if there is something that I can add as a healing to you in your life, I would be happy to do that. Then I went delve further. I started learning about the other healing modalities like magnified healing, karmic releases, lavender flame, uh, mother cornean that you see in the center of the picture was one of the biggest uh, instruments of uh, 
you know, helping my dad ascend once he passed away three years back, ascend his soul to a higher realm wherein I know that he's not taking a turn back and coming back to earth. These are the magic numbers that you see. These are angel numbers. A lot of them uh, are something that you would be seeing on and off with you in your life. I'm very sure about it. But if you really want to understand what the meaning of that is, then you need to meet me after this. Of course, a karmic cleanse wherein you let go of whatever is holding you back. You need to release whatever is holding you back. And once you do that, trust me, that's the freedom that you feel and that opens up new horizons for you, bringing you together to a place wherein you know that you can achieve everything. Trust me, aromatherapy as well is a part of the same healing. So don't take these things a little lightly. These things actually make a lot of dif difference to your life. My friends sitting back there are examples of it. And I'm very sure, I'm not naming them, but I'm telling them most of them know how they work. And of course, the healing angel, trust me, if uh, I can't say anything more, my sign is the healing angel for me. And through him, I hope I can also be a healing angel to all of you here as well. And of course, sending love and light your way. Trust me, release everything, give forgiveness and ask for forgiveness and you will be super happy. Thank you so much.